Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and today we're going to be checking out the compressor on the channel strip of the PreSonus Studio Channel. This is a VCA compressor which stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier and the main goal is to see if the compressor in this channel strip is better than when we're using an analog compressor pedal or even if it's better than when we're using a virtual digital compressor pedal. Now let me explain you a little bit about this channel strip. Alright and this is the channel strip that we're talking about in this episode so just let me zoom in a little bit here. In the left side you'll see the first part which is the preamplifier and then we have the compressor with a view meter then we have the final part which is the parametric equalizer so just to explain very briefly what's everything and what's going on so we have here first in the two preamplifier the phantom power then we have the phase inverter we have a minus 20 dB pad and we have our 80 Hz high pass filter we have a gain we have the tube drive over here I really like this tube drive especially around uh, 30 over there if you go too crazy then uh, it starts getting distorted because actually this particular studio channel has a 12AX7 vacuum tube so here you can control how much you you really want going into it and then um, in terms of the second section which is the one we're gonna actually be um, paying attention today which is the compressor you can choose a soft knee or an auto compressor also it has a couple of settings here if you want the EQ uh, before the compression when it's engaged or if it's disengaged is after the compression but in this particular episode I am not gonna use the EQ at all so I'll just bypass it over here and then you can select it between GR and the meter over there in terms of the actual compression you can choose uh, your threshold over here there's the ratio and you can uh, decide how fast or slow that's the attack uh, how fast or slow you want uh, the compression to start and how fast or slow you want to release that compression and then you have the makeup gain and if you don't want to use the compressor you can also bypass it over there but we do want to use it so um, I'll keep that particular button on engage and then we see the other part of this channel strip which is the equalizer which will be bypassed but basically um, you have here the controls and at the end of the equalizer you have the level in order, in order so basically the volume in case you need to add or uh, level match or reduce depending on the particular needs all right now let me show you the settings of the recording first of all i recorded the loop at my rc3 loop station from both you can see the number one with the dot that means i recorded well my playing and then the output of the loop station will come inside of my Presonus channel strip and you can see it right here and from the channel strip so from the back it's gonna come in this other black cable and just into the input number one all right now let's get started <music> Let's start at noon and now let's start moving around. Threshold. Increase the volume a little bit. It was being too fast here. Thank you. 
fast attack, it's very slow release. Increase the gain a little bit. Do auto now. Okay, soft knee. Amplifier 80 Hertz. Just for fun, we didn't have to. EQ bypass now on. Ooh. on the mids. That was just for fun. Oh, I like these settings. Around minus 30 threshold, ratio of about four. Fast attack, slow release, and compensate a little bit on the gain here, look. If we want to increase the the amount of, of gain in the whole line. You can go here. Okay, let's do 80 hertz again. Now let's increase drive. All right, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the VCA compressor in the channel strip from the Presonus Studio channel. Now, let me give you my two cents. I think that, of course, this compressor is a little bit more complicated than just the pedal that has three knobs and you're ready to go. I feel like in order to truly feel the compression difference, at least to my ears, I needed to do very fast attack and very slow release. When I was somewhere in the middle, I really couldn't distinguish much compression at all. So um, that's just uh, from making this uh, quick test. Whereas when using the pedal, I can listen to the compression immediately. And also when I'm using a digital virtual compressor pedal, I also can listen 
to the compression immediately. I can notice it very much. So this is a little bit different. Now keep in mind this is a VCA compressor so it's not specifically like the pedal or of course not like the digital emulation of uh, analog compressor pedal. Now and even though I was not gonna check on the preamp section and I was not gonna tweak the EQ I actually did because I got overexcited and really the preamp section is really nice in this channel strip that's one of my favorite parts like I mentioned at the beginning and the EQ section once I turn it on also I was able to have a good enhancement of the different frequencies when the gain on a particular uh, frequency was almost um, at the uh, maximum capability so basically my opinion is that in order for this channel strip to truly change your sound you really need to crank it up almost all the way and then you will notice a significant difference from where you started from so these are my two cents if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!